Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome back to WWE Slam as you join us on the road to SummerSlam. I'm your host, The Revolution, joined as ever by Corey Graves, Michael Cole, and the boy next door, Byron Saxon. You join us here this evening in the heart of Orlando just a week after WWE CEO Stephanie McMahon made waves right here in this very arena. Stephanie announced that Emma will indeed get her championship rematch as she takes on Raquel Diaz in the main event of SummerSlam, as well as one final match between Nia Jax and Karma. What else lies in store for the women of WWE Slam as we gear up for SummerSlam? WWE Slam starts right now. It would seem the presence of Stephanie McMahon last week has really rattled Vicky Guerrero here in WWE Slam. The interim general manager, however, doesn't seem to face when it comes to biased decisions as later this evening in our main event, Emma and Nia Jax take on Los Guerrero Familia in a 3-on-2 handicap match. Also later this evening, Alicia Fox looks to make amends with Nikki Bella after Nikki walked out on Alicia last week following Nikki's match with Bianca Bella. Will Alicia somehow manage to build bridges before it's too late? However, up next, as per the ruling of Stephanie McMahon last week, Liv Morgan, Lana and Carmella face off in triple threat action.
The following triple threat contest is a no disqualifications match. Making her way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, Lane. Byron, what's the game plan for these superstars heading into this triple threat match? Michael, a lot of times you'll see a competitor lurking in the weeds, just waiting for the right time to strike. But knowing these three superstars the way I do, I doubt we'll see any of them standing by idly here tonight. should we expect here tonight in this triple threat match? When it comes to triple threats, Michael, you really have to expect the unexpected. Adding that third superstar to the fray really does add a level of intrigue that just can't be found in a traditional one-on-one -on -one match. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view these competitors moving forward. Without a doubt, Cole. And given how heated the women's division is right now, even a single loss can set you back considerably. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. Well, she definitely looks ready for this one, Corey. Would you agree? I'd agree with that, Cole. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. She's always prepared. Simply put, she's a professional. Here we go as this triple threat match gets underway. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. And the elbow connects. Plenty of force behind that strike. Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. This is another example of the carnage this beauty can create. What an unbelievable slam. What does she have to do to make sure she leaves the other two women behind in this triple threat match? Pull up a chair, say hello, because this triple threat match has all the... Hoping to end it early. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. seen and heard tonight there must be serious injuries morgan not looking good here it's got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault yeah but i wouldn't count her out yet any one of these three women can win this match it's been quite the back and forth battle for these women guys and i'm willing to bet that's the way it's going to be the rest of the way this display of acrobatics is simply remarkable A few inches off there. Inches? She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Now back to the ring. She's on the attack and on the move.
When she gets in attack mode, look out. Driven face first. Wow, look how quick. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Can't waste any time here. Hoping to end it here. Wait, are we sure that that wasn't three? She powered out there, Michael. And she turns it around on her. No, she's too quick for her. What is Carmen? She's got the shoulders down. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win it. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. But is it enough to end it? That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Oh, breaker! This is it. This is her chance. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She is on fire. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. And now her acrobatics are on display for the WWE. An early pin attempt. That wasn't even close to three. Nice kick out. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That won't be easy, Michael, given the beating she's taken so far. The end may be near. Body Buster! Now that's how you make a statement. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. That can't be enough, can it? One, two, three. What a victory. What a triple threat. I have to say, I'm completely stunned at those scenes just moments ago as the blonde bombshells and outside of Hatch are here in WWE Slam. Regardless of their actions over the last few months, all three women have been a strong focal point here in WWE Slam and there will certainly be a void left behind. However, the show must go on and as we look to the future, Paige and Royce takes on a star of the past in the iconic Help the Aged scheme. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Billy Kay, representing the iconic duo from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. Byron, a lot of people are saying Peyton Royce is a very bright future here in WWE. Yeah, and she's probably the one saying it the loudest. I don't know who's more excited to get this one going, these women or this crowd. Or Saxton. Jeez, would you relax already? I know this is a big match, but you need to be bouncing up and down like that. Come on, it's creepy.
and her opponent from Houston, Texas, Caitlin. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. Delivering the knee. And a powerful forearm. Peyton Royce got her there. Three. She's starting to stagger a bit, but you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. Hey, we all know how aggressive she can be inside that ring, and you never know what she might do to get back control of this match. Seven. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. Peyton Royce got her there. Direct hits like that help put your opponent away fast and early. And she lands a perfectly executed drop kick. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. There's not a lot of cushion for your face. As you can see, everything hurts. about dominating the action and a powerful forearm wait a minute look at the look in her eyes she's in the zone now watch out wow what a slam don't let the beauty fool you she has power Peyton Royce got her there. She's starting to feel the pressure. I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense, and quickly. We've got a close one, guys, but if you ask me, this is where her aggressiveness is what may very well put her over the top. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Look out, look out, this could be it. It's just a matter of time now. She's got a chance to win it here. Nope, reverses it. Peyton Royce got her there. Oh, you gotta love Peyton oh, Royce, oh. that spinning leg lariat. That has got to be it. The complexity of that move is absolutely unreal. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. This is amazing. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. 
Look at this. And now she's on the offensive. Four. Five. She got her with a reversal. Six. Oh man, she's rolling now. Seven. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. Eight. A high risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Look out, she could be done. Incoming. What an amazing display of athleticism. One more shot and she... Oh, Peyton just took her out with a leg lariat. This one's over, guys. One, two, you can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Look at her go. Peyton Royce. Suplex. Great usage of her hips. Another one. Could the third time be the charm, Byron? I think so. Perfect. This one. And this has got to be it. Two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Peyton Royce. Now that's earning a well-fought victory. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. Caitlin back in a WWE ring? Somebody pinch me. I have to say, I personally hope this isn't the last we've seen of Caitlyn here in WWE Slam. I can't help think, however, that another victory for the Iconics is going to tip their ego over the edge as they continue to dominate the stars of WWE's past. Will anyone be able to stop them? Up next, Nikki Bella goes one-on-one -on -one with friend Alicia Fox in a bid to shun Alicia's attempts to regroup both Brie and Nikki Bella. Will Alicia somehow manage to mend the void between the Bella sisters, or will Nikki Bella continue to spiral out of control? That match is up next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox. Is it me, Byron, or does Alicia Fox look a little extra eccentric here tonight? Uh, unfortunately, I think you're right, Michael, and that can't be good for her opposition here tonight. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by this stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get one of the biggest reactions each and every week. You'd think they'd be used to it by now. I can tell you that Nikki Bella has been looking forward to this one, guys. So is the WWE Universe. Just listen to this reaction. 
And Byron, what should we be on the lookout for here tonight? Well, needless to say, these women are eager to prove they are the preeminent competitor inside the women's locker room. And with that in mind, I expect to see them use every trick in the book to secure a victory here tonight. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. Controlling the tempo. The collar and elbow tie-up in a battle for control here. How about we touch on Nikki Bella a bit? For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. I like what she brings to the table here tonight, Cole, but if I'm being completely honest, this one's just too close to call. Both of these women are so amazing. Back in from the apron. There's the suplex. The drop kick hits the target. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. And she hits the Hurricane Rana with amazing grace. Momentum not on Nikki Bella's side here. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. She's on a roll now. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Nice. Somersault leg drop. She's got a chance to win it here. If that doesn't end this match, I don't know what will. She's going for the cover. She's staying in this match. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. Alicia Fox has her right where she wants her. Good night. Oh, oh. That's it. That's what she needed. What a slam, Michael. It could be over here. Oh, man, I mean, that was so close. I thought it was over. What a match. Swing and a miss. That was strike one, two, and three. Nikki just a force in that ring. Boy, do I just love this. Driven to the mat with authority. inside the ring now. Alicia Fox, not where she wants to be right now. Here's what we're going to see what she's made of. Let's be honest, though. She's in pretty good shape here. It's her opponent who should be concerned. I mean, I lost track of how many finishers she's been on the receiving end of. Now we have Nikki Bella on the attack. Not this time. I've never seen her miss by so much. Okay, now she's just showing off. Reverses that one. She counters before it's too late. She counters with a move of her own. Yeah. 
This should do it right there. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Wow. I thought this was over. Nikki Bella with a nice reversal. One of the most effective drop kicks you'll ever see. In my opinion, Alicia Fox has got to get back into this. What are your thoughts? This is not at all where she hoped to be at this point in the match. Not for nothing, but how many times is she going to use this finisher? Mix it up already, would you? She might have. Oh, good, as she bounces her face off her knee. And now Nikki is ready. Try and to think, you guys counted Nikki out just a few moments ago. Fox just barely able to kick out. And we continue. Oh, man, she is rolling now. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just an ugly impact. That's all she wrote, fellas. Here we go for the win! Two! And you can put this singles match in the books. away with the W. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. I've seen moments ago, Brie Bella returned from injury here in WWE Slam after being taken out of action by sister Nikki at Money in the Bank. With the return of Brie here in WWE Slam, will there be any resolution between the feuding sisters or have things gone too far? Tune into WWE Slam next week to find out. Up next, we hear from Sasha Banks, who apparently has a few choice words for Stephanie McMahon after making her arrival here in WWE Slam last week. looks like she's ready to make a statement tonight. Yeah, she absolutely looks ready to go. And Byron, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in proving which competitor is the premier force in the women's locker room. And because of that, Michael, I'm willing to bet
accompanied by Becky Lynch from the Queen City, Charlotte. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. Well, she definitely looks ready for this one, Corey. Would you agree? I'd agree with that, Cole. But that shouldn't really come as a surprise. She's always prepared. Simply put, she's a professional. This is it, guys. We're ready to get this match going. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. On the shoulders here, and it could be a long way down from there. How do you see her getting it done in this one? Even before joining the main roster, Sasha Banks has taken part in some of the greatest women's matches of all time. And I don't see why tonight can't be another classic. And I could not agree more. As a superstar in the WWE today, there are plenty of opportunities. We'll just have to see if she can take advantage of them. And she's got the fingers locked. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Force on that slam. She has one of the most effective overhands in the game. I think Sasha Banks is done playing. Sasha Banks is making her presence known. Not so fast. A quick finish. Can she do it? Sasha Banks got her there. No, there's the reversal. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Look at this. And the crossbody connects. She's going for the cover. Pin broken up easily. Just needs to do more damage. And there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. Charlotte not in a good place right now. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. Her opponent's finally showing signs of life here. For a moment there, I thought she was going to cruise to victory. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. I'm not sure Charlotte should be showing up her competition like this. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. One. Two. 
Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Targeting the back now. Surprised by the inverted DDT. Six. Bringing it back into the ring. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That won't be easy, Michael, given the beating she's taken so far. Got all that neck breaker. What does Charlotte need to do now to remain a factor in this match? If she's not careful, she's going to find herself in some serious trouble here. I just can't pick a winner at this point, guys. Any one of these women can take this thing. She counters before it's too late. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Can she do it here? Well, guys, unless you've been living under a rock, you by now heard somebody talking about how great this superstar's last match was. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Charlotte with a nice reversal. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Sasha Banks looks like she's really struggling right now under the pressure. This is not at all where she wants to be right now. You can't help but think that this is the end of the road for her here tonight. I mean, she's flat out of gas out there. It could be over here. One, two, three. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, Charlotte. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando. It would seem like the women of WWE Slam have a lot of anger and emotion to get off their chest here this evening, with Charlotte Silence and Sasha Banks just moments ago. With another victory over Banks, we can only assume that this may lead to another tag team championship match between BAD and Charlotte and Becky Lynch. However, up next we switch focus to a tag team match of a different variety as Emma and Nia Jax takes on Los Guerrero Familia in a 3 on 2 handicap match. Our main, of the, our main event of the evening starts right now. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. And Byron, what should we be on the lookout for here tonight? Well, needless to say, these women are eager to prove they are the preeminent competitor inside the women's locker room. And with that in mind, I expect to see them use every trick in the book to secure a victory here tonight.
and their partner from Melbourne, Australia, Emma. Here comes a woman who is constantly evolving, Emma. I gotta say though, Michael, some of that evolving has been positively head scratching. I mean, what was the deal with Emmalina? Yeah, and for me, tonight will go a long way in determining exactly which woman is the most dominant in WWE. Same here, Michael. I'd say it's almost impossible to overstate the importance of this match, especially as it relates to where in the pecking order the winner will end up. And their opponents, first, from California, Awesome Cobb. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view these competitors moving forward. Without a doubt, Cole, and given how heated the women's division is right now, even a single loss can set you back considerably. from El Paso, Texas, Rachel Diaz. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. Well, guys, she certainly has her work cut out for her here tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, but she knew that coming in, Cole. I assure you, she did her homework and knows exactly what to expect from her opposition here. From Hackensack, New Jersey, Sonia Devin. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. But her opposition here tonight is incredibly dangerous and simply cannot be overlooked. Agreed. But I don't think she's overlooking anybody, Cole. That's not the kind of competitor she is. All right, it's time to kick this thing off. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. That'll deliver a jolt through your whole body. Guys, let's quickly discuss Nia Jax. 
We know she can compete, but how is she going to actually win this thing? As far as power goes, there may be no more powerful woman on the roster today, which has to make her opposition feel a little uneasy here tonight. That's how you make an impact. Oh, no. What's going to happen to her pretty face? This is going too far now. She's looking at it early. You're not going to win any matches that easily. What a kick out. Emma's on the attack. Dropped by a clothesline. Emma's on the attack. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. She's a warrior, guys. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Driven straight down to the canvas. What power. We might be seeing Emma in some trouble here. She certainly has her hands full here in this handicap match. Yeah, but I doubt this is her undoing. She still seems to have plenty of fight left in her. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight. And you know what? I think it's working. Cobb starting to slip some. She better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. It's been quite the back and forth battle for these women, guys. And I'm willing to bet that's the way it's going to be the rest of the way. Second time's a charm. Oh, huge flash right there, guys. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. And she's back in the ring now. And she lands a perfectly executed drop kick. Emma's on the attack. Emma going for the cover. Looks like Diaz starting to slip a bit. She better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. Looks to me like her game plan hit a bit of a snag here, guys. She better make a change quickly if she wants to win this handicap match. Her talents inside the ring certainly are commendable, guys. The way she treats people, however, is a completely gone. A resounding move by Emma. Perfectly executed, guys. She got her with a reversal. Not this time. I've never seen her miss by so much. Uh. 
Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Emma's on the attack. She's got the skill to go on runs. Now we'll see if she has the stamina. She wants to do this in the ring. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. And she got her with a clothesline. Emma looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can she get out of this mess? She doesn't want to let this handicap match get out of control. I'm not ready to write her off yet, guys. Look at the look on her face. She may be an Emma looking for the pen. She's got the skill to go on runs. Now we'll see if she has the stamina. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. If this continues, we could be talking about something no one wants to discuss. Facial reconstructive surgery. Going all the way up. Look at this. She wants it one more time. And Emma makes her pay for all that. She can quote shoulders down. Is it enough? Here we go. Emma is setting it up. Emma is getting ready here. Oh, a resounding move by Emma. But is it enough to end it? Oh, no, a counter. No, reverses it. And it's reversed. Look out. There she goes. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here, too, Michael. Emma with her back against the wall. I don't know how much more punishment she can take here in this handicap match. I don't think this is how she drew it up. I mean, unless she enjoys being absolutely obliterated. In that case, then yeah, this is probably exactly how she drew it up. Well, to be honest, she's looked overmatched for the majority of this match. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. Driven to the mat by a spinebuster. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what she... And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. Nia Jackson off the tag. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. This superstar didn't show an ounce of fear during the... It could be over here. Comes up big with the reversal. Jax is measuring her. Oh, man! That looks like it hurts. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Nia Jax might have it right here. Whoa, missed by a large margin there. Come on, how do you miss by that much? Some offense of her own. Oh. 
Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. You know, I don't think anybody loves a good handicap match more than I do. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Nia Jax sees an opening. Oh, man, she's in trouble. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. Cobb makes the tag. See if she has it in her. I think she's trying to prove a point here. So strong. Fireman's carry. Slamming her to the mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. You gotta like her chances now. Absolutely punishing. She has got to take advantage here. She can end it here. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. Up in the fireman's carry position now. And not only is the landing tough, Cole, but it's also dizzying. Incoming. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Oh, the counter. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. She certainly has her hands full here in this handicap match. Let's be honest, though. She's in pretty good shape here. It's her opponent who should be concerned. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. I understand the idea of being relentless, but I think most would agree repeating a specific move is an unorthodox approach. I see it, you have to be slightly insane to agree to a match like this. Driven down with a Samoan drop. Nia Jax might have it right here. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. three count ends this one and there's your winner folks you know it didn't happen often but i can attest being pinned is humiliating we've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in orlando thanks for tuning in to wwe slam as always i've been your host of revolution and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of wwe slam be sure to leave a comment below tweet us at revolution or head on over to www 
therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam because you never know who might turn up. Until next time.